Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Chrisan and today we're going to be reacting to K-pop. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Chrisan. I do a lot of these videos. You can check it out more by subscribing down or by clicking the bell up there. I mean, <laughs> clicking the cards up there. So today is Shiny with Atlantis. So they just came back with Don't Call Me, but Atlantis is more shiny in a sense. No, actually they're both very shiny. Shiny tends to be more of the quirky experimental type and Don't Call Me was very them because they did have you know darker edgier concepts and they're also known for that but they're also known for being quirky, playful, and very refreshing in that sense. Um, and the moment I saw the Atlantis teaser I was like ah shiny. <laughs> this is shiny and I follow them since their debut. I was very like I, I I literally I think I would say I grew up with shiny and it's just you know to see them grow and grow and go through everything and then now they're back you know they're promoting they're all four and they're complete all five by the way I mean they're all complete here but in spirit they're all five and I'm just I'm just so happy that you know they get to promote again and don't call me I really love I, re I really like don't 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 call me but Atlantis I think might be more my jive might be more my vibe so let's see this let's check this out <laughs> This is the shiny I know. Oh gosh, on his voice. And his face, he never aged. Oh my god. Let's go with the song. So the song was amazing. 
in terms of it's very shiny because it follows this like a roller coaster ride and they have a very unique beat that they start off with and I like how this song highlights every member every member <laughs> like did you did you hear the end did you hear the end part like Taemin did a high note Onu no doubt no, you know, Onu's voice just got better over the years, he was already really good, and he just kept going even better. Taemin improved, his voice went up, and you know, Ki, considering he came back from the military, my god, that guy can belt. Like, his voice, when he was singing, like, I was like, you get a high note, and another high note, then another high note. Minho, I understand, you know, he's a rapper, but like, still, like, all of them together in that song was so good. I like how this time, they didn't go with something that was as heavy as, um... Don't Call Me. Don't Call Me had a lot of really like heavy bass tones. This one's a little high, higher. It had a bass, but it, it had a bass, like a bass bass, but it wasn't as heavy as Don't Call Me. Also, I like how in this one, there was a lot of 90s references. It sounds, like I said, it's very retro. It's very in trend right now. And that's what I could get up, get from this one. I also like their references in terms of the production but we'll get to that later choreography okay in terms of choreography shiny is king i will never change that statement i know i stand groups like astro and 17 because they are performance based like they're very good performers and there is a pattern with the way i choose my groups they have to be great performers i mean in terms of i know a lot of k-pop groups are performers but like performers to the core you know kind of like theater kids and they were they were they're like that like their concepts always change but they always manage to pull it off and their choreography will always be intricate powerful and always clean and that's what i like about shiny because they never disappoint me in that department love their choreography moving on to production production let me geek out for a bit this whole retro you know retro colorful theme just really got me like i love everything like the colors they chose were all like pops of color yellow orange mint you know they're very bright but they work together and they work harmoniously which is great it just catches your eye so much i love the the the, the different stuff they have there they, they have if you look at the opening scene just the opening scene alone i kind of geeked up because their cereal has like ocean captain i was just crunch shrimps plant meal everything ocean related they even have um underwater lover it's like you can kind of already they're already they're already setting the theme here to the rest of the theme the rest of the theming had like fish and everything they had a total of three sets here so that was the very very colorful set next was the white underwater set the underwater set that was more of like what i get from this is the colorful theme is more of like a coral reef if you look at the coral reef this is pretty much what it looks like it's very colorful bright pops of color you know and then the second one was the white scene so i would pair the white underwater part to like the shallow waters you know shallow waters right they're very beautiful like you can see like the the mirror of the water you can even see it in the music video and their clothes were simpler simpler more muted and that's what shallow water looks like and then the last scene probably my favorite one was when they actually go into atlantis which is the darkest part of the ocean and here they have more like pastel tones sparkly you know because they're like deep 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 underwater and i love the references of the ocean in these three parts because you can definitely see if you're related to the song the different um depths of love for someone so there's the shallow part then there's the little bit of like colorful colorful part and then there's the deep 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 love and when you speak of atlantis you're speaking of like something that is deep 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 in the ocean like the heart of the ocean that you don't know if it's there you don't know if it will ever be found but it is there and that is how i relate the song of atlantis to it i love the production 
love it. Also, the effects were really good, like the posters moving in the background, love it. Next is the styling. Styling, the stylist of Shiny will always get an A plus in my book because she style, she, he, they, them, they amazing at styling. Colorful theme, looks really good in all of them. Matches the set. Also, the other one matches the set as well. The last one also matches the set. And I also like how they made it match their personality. I'm sure these stylists, stylists have been working with them for so long. And if you know Shiny, they pretty much pull off anything their stylists give them. Just happy that it's so refreshing to see that they can still do it. Right? They can still pull off all these styles. Next and lastly is visuals. Okay, visuals. <laughs> Shiny has always been known to be a visual group. Jonghyun, I kid you not, was my wallpaper when I was in school. Well, Jonghyun will forever have a place in my heart here from the four boys. The one that caught my attention the most was Ki and Onu. Okay, Ki, Ki is fresh out of the military. He has a different aura around him now. I don't know if it's because of the army or like, you know, he grew up a little bit more. He was sassier when he was younger. He's still sassy now, but it's very different. And his looks like really matured. Like when I look at Ki now, I'm just like, wow, Ki, Ki, right? But Onu is a different story. While Ki has grown, and Temin, don't get me wrong, Temin, Temin is like my, my bias, my bias here. Like now, um, Onu, Still visual, still looks the same as if he just debuted yesterday. I kid you not. He never aged a day. He's a vampire. And everything about him is wow. But um, there, those are my thoughts. I mean, there's so much to go on when it's shiny, but I do hope I covered everything. <laughs> um, but um, I'd love to know what you guys thought about it. Please comment in the comment section down below. Do you guys enjoy it? Um, what do you guys think about it? Do you... Do you have a particular scene that you love the most? I'd love to know in the comments down below. Also, um, if you have any requests, please leave that down as well. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, a like, as well as click that bell for more videos like these from me. And thank you so much. I will see you guys next time. Bye!